the other big announcement, I guess, is the um, C300 Mark III. Yeah, which I, I was really excited about when I heard about it because I've been hearing a lot about the C500 and uh, C500, is that new, Mark, whatever, or the most Mark II, uh, that, um, you know, it's pretty much the APS-C or Super 35 uh, sensor version of that which I think is really cool to do that, mm -hmm. uh, do it that way. It makes me feel like the way camera lines are, you know, with the full frame and having to, you know, they're just segmenting it a little bit more. Um, because I don't know if I'd be really much served by the full frame part, um, you know, and it's it, that's like four or so thousand dollars more uh, on, the, on the C500. Um, and, you know, you got the fast media in this guy. It's all modular, just like um, the 700 is. Uh, the uh you know canon makes a really good um flexible camera i i find they 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 like as many cinema cameras as i've used i still find myself using this the, like well the c200 i have a lot of experience with that camera but like where the joystick is to get around the menu like it's right there on the screen cool versus like oh it's on the side i gotta look at it and then look at the monitor and those types of things don't seem to be thought of as much or if they are it's more of like to have multi users on one camera and so it is somewhat complicated to operate by yourself uh but um you know this it should be a real exciting camera 11 grand uh it's pretty steep but i i imagine it's gonna be uh, just a beautiful image Yep. Um, so they're claiming 16 stops of dynamic range. That's crazy. That's that's pretty fantastic. Oh, gosh, they said 16 plus stops, whatever that means. Six, that means, I guess, more than 16, but fewer than 17 stops. Uh, See, uh, I, the, uh, the dynamic range chart behind you, I, I, I think I could believe that because they're like, okay, we can see that 17th, but like we really don't want to claim it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to say that because then people are going to be like, oh, no, it's like 16 and a half and you're saying 17. Because that's Black Magic says, you know, every every stop that they possibly could see in the scale, they're saying it. And then you're like, yeah, but once I pull the blacks down, you know, five stops disappear. So you're saying it's probably going to come in at, at a Black Magic 17. Yeah, it's a Black Magic 17. That's a different way of uh, measuring things. Yeah. So, um, and other than that, um, it's a 4K up to 120 FPS. Which is pretty crazy. I, I think... I don't know if there's a lot of cinema shot above 120 frames for no, slow motion. That. Yeah, I mean everything you get above that, you you start you, you're doing some kind of specialty scene, or you're doing something that's not just your run of the mill straight. You know, you're you're shooting action packed, and you, yeah, you need some kind of specialty tool anyway. But uh, what is it's Canon Raw Light yet again, which um, is cool. Let's see, it's just uh, you like Canon Raw Light now. Well. I do and I don't. Uh, I like it better than uh, H.265, which is seeming to come up a lot uh, lately. Uh, H.265, for whatever reason, just chokes my computer, and I just have a really difficult time with it, even if I'm running it off our hard drive or off of the, the native hard drive uh, with lots of throughput, uh, which I run off a of Thunderbolt 3 anyway, so I should have plenty of throughput. But, man, it's just it gets really mad if you want to have more than two layers of H.265 and it's like just cutting stuff up. I, I won't be able to see frame by frame um, of it, but I can't say that, you know, um, you know, Canon Raw Light isn't much lighter than that. Uh, honestly, all of them would benefit just to be transcoded to, um, to ProRes. Uh, but, you know, then you're talking about just ginormous ProRes files. I mean, 10 times the size and uh, as although I have lots of storage, I still get worried about having to handle really big, lots of f big files just because, you know, if you have one project that take, you know, for me that used to be 50, 60 gigs in, in just regular 4K, I want to do it in 10 or 12 bit. And now it's a terabyte. Like that's just such a huge multiple to get used to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you got a lot of storage, but it's still a finite amount of storage, I guess, right? Yeah, it's not never ending, which... That'd be good. I, I'd, I'd like never ending. I wouldn't want, see if I had never ending storage that was off site, that wouldn't help me because we're dealing with such big files and it takes so much to put stuff up out, out, out the, uh, up to the cloud and everything. So I, if I had unlimited local storage, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah.